this is amazing now you can integrate llama 3 in your vs code application you can download llama 3 locally on your computer using olama and create a private copilot without ai you need to manually write the code manually fix code manually refactor and it results in less productivity reduced code quality and errors so how can you prevent this instead of searching online for the code how can you get all the code right in your vs code application using this in vs code you are able to get explanation for your code refactor the code document creation for the selected code and fix bugs for those who don't know what is vs code it is visual studio code editor and it is one of the popular code editor tool without ai manually you need to write the code manually you need to fix the error manually refactor less productivity reduced code quality and errors so how can you fix this that's exactly what we're going to see today let's get started hi everyone i'm really excited to show you about using llama 3 with your vs code application using ai as your code companion you are able to create any quick boilerplate code you can fix code you can refactor code in a fly as a result it increases the productivity increase the code quality and finally reduce errors i'm going to take you through step by step on how to implement ai in your vs code but before that i regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my youtube channel so do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you if you haven't got vs code you can download that from visual studio code website next download olama from olama.com website now open vs code and you will see an interface like this on the left hand side there is an extension icon which you can see here you can click that then you'll have the extensions area there you can search for code gpt and then click enter now choose this option which got 1 million downloads click that and then you can install this code gpt now it got installed click on this icon then you can see extension settings click on that and it will take you to the settings page they choose the provider olama from the drop down list next click enable code gpt copilot next for auto complete choose olama llama 3 instruct and then click enter now it is ready we are going to use llama 3 instruct and llama 3 8 billion parameter model both are same but we need to download to make sure it actually works with this so now let's go to the terminal you can close this window at the top you can click view and then terminal in the terminal olama pull llama 3 8 b and then click enter next olama pull llama 3 instruct and then click enter now it's all ready now let's create a file called app.py on the left hand side as you can see here you can click this icon and create a new file and then click enter now you've got the code editor open to get started click on the code gpt icon on the left hand side here go to the drop down at the top choose the provider that is olama and then select the model which we are going to use llama 3 8b model that's it now you're ready to code as a starting point i'm going to ask write a flask api code and click enter now it's generating the response it is quite fast and i can see it's an example to return books so i can just copy the code or just insert the code directly here so in that way the code immediately came here so now you've got the boilerplate from this you can extend this further next i can ask by selecting the code going back to the code gpt clicking the home icon and then I ask connect this data to a SQLite database and then click enter. Now you can see the data can be imported to a SQLite database by running this code. Next I can ask now change the code to directly connect with the SQLite database and then click enter. So now it's providing me a code to create connection. So I can easily modify this code by just selecting this and then click insert code. In this way, it's directly connecting to the SQLite database, as simple as that. Now I can ask it to fix any errors. For example, there's a semicolon here. I'm going to select this all, click the home button if required, and there's a fix bug in the selected code. I can click that as a shortcut. Seems like it's allowing the semicolon, but we forgot to mention the books list. So I can select this and click insert code. Now I'm going to wantedly create an error for example i'm going to remove the slash here delete now i remove the slash now selecting the whole code going to the chat and asking it to fix the code and it clearly identified where the error exists and i can just select all the code and click the insert code button now you can see this got fixed similarly you can refactor this code 
by just going to the shortcut panel, refactor selected code. And now it's refactoring the code. And I'm inserting the refactored code. As simple as that. Finally, I'm going to ask it to document the selected code by clicking that button. And here you can see it's adding all the relevant comments so that it's easy for us to understand. Now I can go to the code and click insert code. That's it. As simple as that. Now you've created a code within five minutes and this API is able to interact with the database and able to respond to user's query. I'm really excited about this. I'm going to create more videos similar to this. So stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.